All right, this is gonna be a um, day trading private money manager uh, video. You know, I wanna talk to you briefly about just um, becoming a selective uh, trader. Uh, you know, like for example, I woke up this morning and uh, the market advanced, but it wasn't, I know it's gonna go down before it goes up. So instead of trying to hunt every single advance, there's a very specific entry point that I have. Uh, you know, I've, I, <laughs> I literally will take pictures of that pattern and just to, to, you know, to reinforce that this is when we enter it. This is when we enter, enter the market. Um, and I'm also not doing shorts right now. Um, so what, what's my point is really about being a selective day trader and, and over trading, uh, can be real negative as a, as a, as a trader. Um, so, you know, I'm out here kind of doing my, my normal, uh, meditative walk and, you know, it's real funny about meditation. I, I can, I always come up with every reason in the world not to meditate, not to take a walk. You know, it's too cold. It's whatever. I'm always, but every time I get out here and I, I take my meditative walk and get in silence, uh, I'm always happy. I'm always better. So I wanted to kind of send a video, um, really just kind of a, a tutorial to other traders out there and just really talking about over trading and, and also how important it is to, um, to, to integrate healthy, li uh, healthy lifestyle, you know, uh, in, in your life. Like for example, for me, trading is, uh, you know, I couldn't trade without, um, well, I, let me say this. I wouldn't want to trade without being, uh, in, in an, in a nature environment. Uh, you know, I'm not sure how the, you know, also, you know, I'm very selective on caffeine. I notice I over trade with caffeine. I'm very amped. And sometimes when we are in those critical, critical uh, decisions and we have to make critical decisions, we don't need to be amped. We need to be very um, um, selective and, and sober and very calm and being able to think through this and not just react. So if you're a trader, you know there's a big difference between profitable trading uh, and reactive trading. So, okay. Uh, so avoid over trading. And also here's the thing. If I were to do some consulting for you, uh, after we got to know each other, I would simply ask you, you know, show me where you enter the market on a long, you know, let's just say you're buying it, uh, on a long. And if you couldn't tell me, if you're a pattern day trader, if you couldn't tell me or show me where you enter the market, um, you know, you have to have targets. You cannot hit a target you don't see, and you can't see it unless you identify it. So what, what, it, where have you identified where your target entry points are? For me, I use a lot of Elliott Wave. I, I use a lot of uh, Japanese candlesticks, but mostly Elliott Wave. And I could show you specifically where the ideal time is to buy. Um, and I, I aim for that. I look on a five minute chart. Sometimes I'll even go down like a three minute chart. Uh, so what's my point? No matter who you are, where you are, if you're a private money manager, day trader, over trading can be very costly. And also on the other side of that, you have to be very selective uh, on, the, on the positions you take. And uh, that's the good thing about Elliott Wave is it breaks the cycle down into different phases and you get to kind of decide where you want to, which phase you feel most confident in. Because when you're, let's say that you're in a Elliott Wave 2 phase, well, you know that the, th the third wave is coming. So you know, uh, I used to, I, I have a very, very, very specific point using Elliott Wave, and I love to share, share that with you. But more importantly, whether you hire me as a consultant, uh, let me ask you, where do you enter the market? Okay, I want to keep these, um, these videos short. It's all a train. Uh, there's the river. Happy trading. Enjoy your day. Get outside or whatever you like to do. Enjoy your day. Okay.